Yo guys, Steve or Scotch and Thangs. Sorry, another kind of big box to get in the way. We will get it opened up. This is a dual unboxing. Um, there are two knives in here. I've never really done that before. I thought, oh, maybe I need to open it up and show them to you one at a time and make individual videos. But, you know, who cares? see what's in here we are going to open it up with my new slim midi and magna cut very excited guys um so the story on this is if you watched a previous video uh, just one of my if you look back within the last couple weeks i had just gotten in a praetorian or not praetorian a medford marauder h brand new from dlt and i didn't even have sorry i'm gonna talk and be kind of story time i i literally had a day i got back from my parents house and was waiting here i opened it up did a video put the video out and one of you guys contacted me on instagram asking if i ever wanted to trade it and i i mean i literally didn't even have this thing a day and i mailed it out um talked in Instagram, I'll put your name out there um, in case you don't want it known. But uh, I thought about it, you know, stayed up late that night watching TV, playing around with it. Didn't even put it in the pocket other than like sweatpants. And I thought I, I really like the knife, but the two knives he offered in trade are ones I had been wanting. One I have had in the past and regretted getting rid of it. And another one was one... I've been wanting to check out. So, I mean, I can always get another Marauder H. Um, I will get another one, even though that was in 3V and I love 3V and it matched, it matched this, which I was pretty excited about. Oops. Um, but then I thought, man, you know what? I haven't had it today. I haven't really fallen in love with it yet. Um, but I knew I wanted these knives. So, We've got Spartan and Chris Reeve. So, you already know what's in here. Or maybe I'll title it just Double Knife Unboxing. Um, let's do the Chris Reeve first, because I have had this. This is an Umnum Zon, except mine was a Tanto in S45. This one, he said, is like new. And that's 35 in. And guys, I don't give two craps about. This is from May 7th, 2020. It's funny. I think mine was made May, or mine was, my S45 was, oh no, that was 2021. Never mind. Never mind. So, let's get this out. I really like the Umnums on, and I don't know. I was using it as a work knife, and it was an awesome knife. And then I got my SMF, and I thought, well, I don't really need this anymore. And I sold it, and you know how it goes. Instantly regretted it, because it is a great knife, guys. Take a look here. I want to look at it outside. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's been carried a little bit. A little wear on the pocket clip, but who cares? Ooh, great action. Nice and sharp. So... It's been carried a little, maybe put in pocket, but I doubt it's been been carried. But these are great knives, guys. I I am gonna I really like the Tanto, so I'm gonna be it'll be interesting to check this one out. And like I said, S35, S45, I don't care. You know I don't geek out on steels. Um other than I really like 3V. I'm excited to try out this Magna Cut that everybody's making a big deal about. Um kind of, you know, it's harpoon. I, you know, I'm excited. That's cool. We'll put this right here. So I'm glad to have the Umnums on back. Oh, and he's already did... Someone did the backspacer kit. I was looking at doing that. So that's cool. Replace the lanyard with the backspacers. I was... I'd forgotten looking at pictures. So when I was on the road for work last week, I was on Chris Reeve's site. And I was going to order that. I'm glad I waited. There we go. And this is the Spartan Blade Works. 
or Spartan Blades, I'm sorry, Spartan Blades Harsey, or Folding Knife Spartan Harsey 2021 Special Edition, the Spartan Babe. So this isn't one I probably would have bought myself, but I mean, to get it in a trade, who cares, you know? But to have one, I probably would have gone just plain. Some of their, their special edition knives are, you know, cool. But I thought, why not give it a whirl? So there is the babe on the front, skulls down at the bottom, skulls on the back. Kind of cool. Ooh, nice. And this one is one of the newer ones. So this is an S45. That's a long knife, guys. That's, oh man. But it, and it's got the finger choils here and it just... Okay, so excited to check this out, guys. Excited. I've been on the fence about these um, because, you know, I've got my Sabenza and I've got my aluminum on back again. So I was, it was like, everybody compares these kind of to like a Chris Reeve, but I think the thumb stud is just in a better location with a cutout so you can flick it. It's still on washers. Um, and I want to, you know, give it a try. I don't know. Like I said, these will probably just be EDC knives. They might make it into the work rotation. I just really like that, or my SMF as a work knife. Um, so I'm glad to add these to the collection after I'm done. I'm going to carry these two after I'm done with the Z, carrying my ZT and my uh, 228. I'll throw these in pocket so you guys get the review, whatever it's like to carry these for a month. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I'm excited to finally have a Sparcy, a Sparcy, <laughs> a Spartan Harsey folder. Um, funny thing, you know, about doing some research into these guys. Everybody likes to talk about, oh, they're special forces guys that made them. They're the best knives ever. Um, no, you know what's cool about them is, yeah, they were... Army Special Force guys that came, got out, and wanted to... That screw's a little loose, and where is my... Of course, my... Yeah, I'll have to tighten that up. There we go. Um, got out of the military. Quick little history lesson here, guys, from what I found out. Correct me if I'm wrong. And knew they wanted to go into business together. And looked at doing, like, a gun business. Um don't know what kind i'm assuming ars of some sort but um because that's what everybody makes um but there's a lot i guess there was you know just looking at it and thought oh, there's a lot of regulations stuff like that a lot of hoops to jump through so they went in they're like well let's make knives and guess what they this is why i like chris reeve knives so much um part for I love, I love the knives, guys. Where's my 21? It is. It was here last time, and I moved it when I put everything away. Um, but what he's contributed to the knife community. So, y'all know, like, he taught Anthony Marfion how to grind. Um, but these guys, I don't know their names, but when they decided they wanted to become knife makers, they called up old Chris and went out... And met with him and you know and it's really kind of cool and i think people kind of i've talked about this before knives like us as collectors we like what we like and then other stuff we're like boo hiss or you know stuff like that and we maybe make stuff a competition where it's not where i would think being in business i would be more competitive anyway against people wanting into my space you know trying to take my slice of the pie, but um, no. So they went out and met with Chris Reeve and he talked to him about knife making and stuff like that. And I know they came out with fixed blades first and they still do for fixed blades. But I mean, if you look at this, it's very similar to um, a Chris Reeve knife, you know, titanium, handle scales, phosphor bronze. I mean, they're not reinventing the wheel here. Um, other than like this, I would, People like to compare this to the to the Sabenza, but honestly, I think it's more like an Unumzan. Um, so I think that is a better comparison between the two, in my opinion. 
But uh, let me know. Let me know if I screwed those facts up. That's just what I read. Um, so I thought that was very cool. So people can hate on Chris Reeve, and they do. And you know, that's that's their opinion. It's their money. They get to, you know, um, speak with their dollars. But you can't deny what he's meant to the knife world. You know, without something like this, there's not something like this. It, does that make sense? I just think... Um, and hey, that's their prerogative. I mean, they've got the three main, I mean, they make other models like the uh, the Menindi and stuff like that. But the Sabenza, the Nkosi, and the Unumzan, I mean, they hold a place in knife history, guys. Um, that's just my opinion, guys. I'll get off my soapbox, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to have these two again. Really excited to try this bad boy out. Um, yeah, it's a nice, it's just a fits great in the hand so yeah very excited probably wouldn't have been a graphic i would have but picked out to buy i probably would have gone like i said plain but kind of cool i mean kind of cool to get one of their you know they call them special editions and what chris reeve what do they call them unique designs or unique graphics whatever so very similar um thanks for checking out the video and drop a comment down below and i'll talk to you later bye guys